Hi guys, welcome back. This is Nikki here, here um, back with you for another video on some attars I received, well not received, that I bought from the house of Anthony Marmin, the French perfumer who is Muslim, he lives in Dubai. And a couple months ago, as I said, in a, in a couple of previous videos, I ordered a sample set from him just to try out a few of his fragrances because obviously this was my first time delving into the world of Middle Eastern fragrances and perfume oils. And, and so I wanted to get, you know, an idea of what I liked before I went ahead and ordered the bigger bottles. Now, I said that, but let me say this. I also ended up buying a blind buying, a larger size, because I think on the site at that time, this particular um, um, fragrance was going to be phased out and based on the notes i said let me go ahead and risk take a risk and purchase a full bottle i don't think the price that i paid was over 30 us dollars to be honest so for me even if i didn't end up liking it it was a risk that i was willing to take so if you guys want to see which attar I'm talking about, stay tuned, like the video, share it to friends, especially those that those of your friends who you know are interested in Middle Eastern fragrances and in particular in perfume oils. Now, Anthony Marmin has different sizes of perfumes that you can order. So I've showed you these sizes before. This is a, a musk fragrance that I bought from him as well. This is the 0 0.5 milliliter sample bottle. You can also get the 3 mil taller. And then there's a 6 mil taller. But I went for the 3 mil taller. And the, this uh, fragrance is called Oud Al-Amir. There you have it, Oud Al-Amir. And this fragrance, the notes in this uh, perfume oil, as listed on the website, Cambodian oud, woody notes, honey, dried fruits, smoked caramel, sweet notes, and then regular fruits. So I'll, I'll just open it and show you what it looks like. So you take the cap off and then it comes with a little dropper. Ugh, don't let me spill, don't let me spill. And the juice is on the dropper and you dab 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 wrists elbows clothes wherever and the juice is a beautiful almost honey consistency it's very thick you can see this it's very thick and it's golden a nice golden color so for me this fragrance is listed as for men and i would agree with their description the other the other um attars that i bought they're listed for men but they're sweet enough that women i find i think can wear them this one for me even though it says it has sweet notes in it i don't get a lot of sweet from this now on first application the oud hits me right in my face the cambodian oud and it definitely has an anim animalic um smell to it animalic meaning it smells like an animal they call it barnyard oud. like if you've ever been in a barn or around like horses or just farm animals i guess you know that kind of animal smell you get you get that in the perfume but i know it sounds weird for those of us who are who are not accustomed to wearing perfumes that have that scent profile but trust me in the perfume of itself, it's fine. You're not gonna walk around smelling like a horse or a pig or whatever. It just adds the depth and expansion for me of the fragrance. So I get that animalic vibe right up front. And then I get the woody notes. And for me, I get this smoky, almost like a dried smoky incense um, smell coming through most of all. And in the background, you have slightly sweet notes. For me, I don't get the caramel at all. 
So because, because this fragrance for me is not sweet, it leans more masculine in my opinion. Now, when I wear this, I either wear this to bed, like when I've showered in the night and I put it on. As I said, oud for me has a very calming, um, de-stressing um, quality about it. So I like to put it on sometimes at night just before I go to bed. But if I'm wearing it during the day, I would put this on first and then I would go over this, layer this with another fragrance, maybe a fruity, a fruity floral fragrance or an amber floral fragrance, something that has a little bit more sweetness to it. Um, and the, the combination of that, that deep, dark, skanky oud and the nice, sweet florals and fruits is absolutely amazing. So guys, oud a la mer, the, oh, before I forget, longevity on this is absolutely amazing. This is over 12 hours on my skin. And I kid you not, over 12 hours on my skin. Uh, if I put this on at night, when I wake up in the morning, it's there, like it never went anywhere. On my clothes, it, it, it will be there for the whole week. Until I wash my clothes, I can smell this oud in the material. Um, the projection for this one, I would say arm's length, or maybe slightly over arm's length, depending on, I guess, how much you apply. For me, this doesn't project as, as far as, say, the Chic Al Forenzi or the Ouda Sam. I did videos on those previously. You can go back and check those out. It doesn't, it doesn't explode as much as those. This one sticks a little closer, but it's absolutely beautiful. I just wish it had a little bit more sweetness in it for a female. But for a guy, this would be perfect because I guess most guys, well, I assume, don't necessarily want to smell sweet. So Oud Alamir, check out the house of Anthony Marmon. Get your nose on some of his attars. They're absolutely beautiful. If you're accustomed to the Western style um, of perfumery, the, the Middle Eastern style may take a little a little bit getting used to in terms of the fragrances, how they appear, how they how they're packaged, how you apply, how they smell. Um, but trust me, guys, once you get your nose into these Middle Eastern fragrances, you are not going to regret it. So thanks, guys, for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. As I said before, like the video, share um, with your friends and drop me a comment down below on what Middle Eastern attars have you been trying recently? So this is your auntie signing off. Bye, guys.